to introduce your valiant toys for 2009. I don't think you're ready for it yet. I gotta get a little bit more excited out of you guys. Weighing in 135 stone at a length of the ladies love, I'm going to Oregon State University majoring in exotic yoga, Evan, give it to me, Ingerson! <laughs> weighing in one half of the Wu-Tang Clan, weighing in 40, staying at 42,000 different instruments tall, going to George Fox University, majoring in cheerleading, Jeanette the Ripper Edel! <laughs> Going to the University of Oregon, majoring in professional wrestling, Carmen the Chuggernaut Lee! <laughs> Weighing in at 17 gallons of mayonnaise, standing in three baseball bats signed by the Base Stars. Going to Willamette University, majoring in bodybuilding, Carmen the Bagel Man! <laughs> Weighing in at 46 pounds, standing at the height of the average freshman. Going to Whitworth, <laughs> Whitworth University. Majoring in nuclear science, Troy Ugly Betty Shufo! <laughs> and last but not least, weighing in at 4,000 gigabytes, standing at 76 calculators stacked on top of each other, going to MIT or PCC, he hasn't quite decided yet. Majoring in ballet, Trevor Babyface Sinclair! defining historical event of our high school careers when our dear friend Pluto was taken away from us. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there's Uranus. There's Pluto. Well, it can't be a planet anymore. It's just not big enough. That's what she said! <laughs> we were to have the 8th grade students as a part of our student body. From the moment I stepped on one of those little critters, I knew that they could contribute to the beauty of Franklin High School. The year before, I could walk through the halls with ease, and I can remember how much pain that was for me. It was an increase to the quality of my life to have to need of these little buggers. Every time I walked through the hall, going from Calculus BC to Physics KL. Those wonderful young adults, or young toddlers, <laughs> were a pleasure to be around, and we hope that one day they will grow up to be the cowboys, astronauts, and ballerinas that they all aspire to be. <laughs> now, this school event still lingers in the hearts of many of us today. Now, if you recall, a girl wearing pink and a when a girl wearing pink and a blo boy wearing blue wow well, I can't um, get too close on the dance floor, oh, yeah. they engage in the most disgraceful act of making purple. <laughs> music. There's supposed to be music. <laughs> Sorry. 
because of this, dances were taken away from us. But now that we've graduated, we can make purple all night long. <laughs> I'm talking about dances, of course. And who could forget some of our favorite and most interesting teachers? Uh, this one goes out to one of my favorite teachers who helped me realize my future career, Mr. Sheridan. As you can see here on this diagram, <laughs> as you can see here, the subarachnoid arteriovenricular dihydroxycholecalciferol process of the epidermal oblique coracoid bone articulates with the <coughs> Oh, that's okay. We'll just have our own conversation over there. He won't mind. Yeah, he's way up at the board. He can't hear his talk way back here. We'll just have our own conversation. It doesn't matter that we have a lot to do today. We'll just chat away back here, because what he's saying isn't important. I'll let this go, because you're freshmen. But if you were seniors, I would get out the pointy stick. What do you think, Mr. Harden? Okay, guys, five minute pep talk. Now, I know we're gonna have a lot of wah wah speeches to get through, but if you just power it out for the next few minutes, you can walk out of here by the end of the day with your diploma. And thanks for checking in, Evan. Just close your eyes for a second and visualize yourself walking across the stage, grabbing your mega slippy, and bam! You're done with high school, and now you've got all summer to recreate yourself. Nice. And where will Franklin's best and brightest end up? Well, after considering all my options, and especially in the current state of our economy, I've realized that my ideal career is to be a male stripper. <laughs> Entertaining bachelorette parties, making house calls, and even some bachelor parties. I would like to thank my school for helping me realize this dream.
but seriously now, the real boring speech you're expecting. I'd like to start with a few thank yous. Uh, first to Miss Hall for putting in the long hours to make this, this wonderful presentation happen. Uh, I'd also like to uh, thank the, the, the nurses that uh, delivered me. They were really there for me from the beginning. And, uh, I'm, not, I'm not done here. Uh, <laughs>